Welcome back to a brand new video on our channel. Today, we're delving into a fascinating topic. After you watch this, you won't engage in this act anymore. Powerful inspirational video. This video delves into the intricate connection that occurs when two individuals engage in a sexual encounter. Whenever two people share this intimate experience, intricate neurochemical changes unfold within their brains, fostering a profound emotional connection within the limbic system. This phenomenon, known as limbic bonding, is pivotal in understanding the limitations of casual sexual encounters. It's fascinating how two people may initially engage in sexual activity purely for the thrill of it, yet simultaneously, a deeper, subconscious connection begins to form. Regardless of their initial intentions, sex strengthens an emotional bond between them, often unbeknownst to both parties. Interestingly, this emotional attachment tends to affect one person more profoundly, often the woman, as research indicates that the female limbic system is comparatively larger than that of males. This intricate phenomenon is commonly referred to as soul ties. Think of sex as akin to binding two pieces of wood together, only to forcefully separate them the next day. Although physically separated, fragments of each partner's experiences, both positive and negative, linger with them indefinitely. It's an enduring connection that persists throughout their lives. Bell, if you find this video interesting, please consider subscribing to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Now, imagine the complexity that arises when these bonds are formed with multiple partners. Healthy soul ties denote enduring connections created through sexual encounters, even in short-term relationships, a truth often overlooked. What most fail to realize is that these connections endure long after the relationships themselves have concluded, leaving both parties yearning for a sense of wholeness. This misconception stems from the prevailing belief that sex is merely a one-dimensional, physical act devoid of emotional or spiritual implications. Post-sex Individuals often find themselves unexpectedly pining for someone they might not even like outside of the intimate context. Frequently, one person, typically the woman, invests emotionally, hoping that the act of intercourse will lead to deeper commitment, only to discover that their vulnerability was exploited. Marriage commitments are often regarded as mere formalities, leading couples to cohabit and engage in sexual relationships without a lifelong commitment. When such relationships crumble, the emotional and spiritual toll can be devastating, tearing at the very fabric of their beings. Whether one is religious or not, the concept of soul ties or soul ties is universally comprehensible. It revolves around the idea that certain actions can forge connections that are not easily severed, with sex being a primary source of such connections. In a healthy relationship, sexual intimacy serves as a nurturing and empowering force, symbolizing love and commitment. Conversely, in toxic relationships, sex binds individuals to those who disempower and harm them, often manifesting as negative soul ties. Engaging in sexual activity with a partner should be a source of pleasure, intertwining energies and leaving both individuals feeling loved, cherished, and satisfied. If sexual encounters leave you feeling hollow, unappreciated, used, or dirty, 
It's crucial to address these negative emotional reactions within the context of your relationship. If persistent sadness, hopelessness, confinement, or depression characterizes your daily emotional state, it may indicate an unhealthy soul tie, one that distorts your perception of love and leaves you in perpetual darkness. Three key indicators suggest the presence of a destructive soul tie. 1. Remaining in a physically, emotionally, or spiritually abusive relationship, unwilling to sever the connection or establish boundaries, driven by fear or attachment. 2. Continued obsession with a past partner, where thoughts of them dominate your mind, akin to withdrawal symptoms, signifying an unhealthy attachment. 3. The sensation that a past partner is perpetually with you, watching your every move, highlighting an enduring mental and emotional link that requires attention. These challenges are not exclusive to any particular demographic, they are universal human experiences. Recognizing the presence of such negative soul ties is the first step toward healing and restoration. Real love, as depicted in the Bible, transcends mere physicality and is centered on Christ. It emphasizes selflessness, seeking the well-being of others. Unhealthy soul ties often lead to harmful behavior, draining one's emotional and spiritual vitality. The link between sex and love is deeply ingrained in contemporary society, often equating sexual activity with the proof of love. However, it's essential to recognize that sexual desires are complex and can signify deeper needs for love, connection, and validation. Understanding the source of these desires and addressing the underlying emotional and spiritual needs is crucial. Fulfilling physical, emotional, and spiritual needs through healthy means, such as exercise, a balanced diet, Emotional expression and spiritual practices can mitigate the pressure to seek fulfillment through sexual encounters. While sexual desires are entirely normal, they should be satisfied within the boundaries of a committed, loving relationship, such as marriage. Waiting for the right context to engage in sexual activity is not about denying pleasure but about preserving its sanctity and avoiding the emotional and spiritual harm associated with premature or casual sex. Controlling sexual urges requires proactive measures. 1. Develop a plan for resisting temptation in advance, ensuring you're prepared when faced with alluring situations. 2. Avoid situations that intensify sexual temptation by choosing partners who share your commitment to waiting until marriage. 3. Remember the purpose behind waiting, Understanding that it's not a permanent denial of pleasure but a commitment to maintaining emotional, spiritual, and physical health. 4. Take control of your thoughts, striving to align them with godly principles, and seeking divine guidance to overcome impure thoughts. 5. Stay engaged in constructive activities to combat boredom and reduce vulnerability to temptation. 6. Invest time in developing a deeper relationship with God, finding love and fulfillment through prayer, Bible study, worship, and service to others. 7. Recognize that temptation is part of the human experience, and being tempted is not sinful, it's how we respond to temptation that matters. Ultimately, overcoming the challenges posed by sexual temptation involves seeking strength from God, relying on the Holy Spirit, and practicing faith and obedience. Through this process, 
individuals can experience freedom from the power of sin and develop a deeper relationship with God, anchored in love and guided by righteousness. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.